Okay, so um, they give us a formula. It is a formula. Uh, I guess I should put that in there, but as opposed to an equation with f of x in it, um, it is an equation, but anyway, so they don't have the f of x notation. That's okay. It's in terms of two variables, c and f, and what we're going to do then is we're going to rewrite this in terms of c. You don't have to switch anything. Your output is here at C, and your input is here at F. So um, all we're going to do is solve for F. So the first thing I'm going to do is recopy this. After all those steps I gave you, a lot of times they do give it to us with the function notation, and then you're going to use those steps. But here, this is just a formula. Um, so I'm going to multiply by 9 over 5 on both sides. Okay, so that's going to give me 9 fifths C equals, and then those are canceling, so you just have F minus 32. So we talked about this example before, and when we were saying, okay, in the original equation, oops, in the original, okay, let's not do that. In the original equation, they were giving us Fahrenheit and we were calculating Celsius. Now what we want to do is be able to calculate um, Fahrenheit based on Celsius. Okay, so we're trying to get Fahrenheit by itself. Okay, so we're almost done. We just have to get the F by itself. This one's a little bit different than what I showed in the steps. I apologize for that. It's it's more of a conceptual thing than the function notation. We do usually write, like to write um, the output on the left, okay? So you can write it in terms of inverse notation. <laughs> you can name that, you know, I won't name it F, I'll name it G, G inverse of C you know, is 9 over 5c plus 32. I don't know that that's particularly helpful unless you want to relate it to the original um, one, but I don't find that particularly helpful. Okay, I would just leave it like this.